Good morning. My name is Ben Phillips, and I'm pastor at First Baptist Church in Murphy, Texas. And I'm Christian, and we want to welcome y'all here to the Sunday School lesson. Uh, this is our second part of Salt and Light Evangelism series, and my dad is just going to uh, take a brief moment to review about what we talked about last week if you weren't here with us. That's good. Thank you. Well, it always helps to review a little bit, and so one of the things we talked about last week was how to pray for lost people. And we kind of modeled that for you and actually spent some time praying for our one. And so I want to encourage you, if, if you didn't watch with us last week, uh, you can go online uh, to the First Baptist Murphy YouTube channel and check that out. And that will give you some wisdom in just praying for lost people. And we want to encourage you uh, to begin praying for your one uh, praying for your neighbors and co-workers and classmates. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the things we it's important to do is for us to uh, pray to God on behalf of people uh, before we actually begin to share the gospel with them. Mm -hmm. uh, God works in incredible ways when we pray and seek Him. And one of the things I believe God does is draws people uh, to Himself. Mm -hmm. So... We're going to share the gospel this uh, during this session, focusing on one verse, Romans 6.23, for the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. And so we're, we're going to see how to do this, and, and to help you, I want you to just pay attention, grab your handout. One of the things I forgot to mention if you'll go to fbcmurphy.com, you'll be able to download a handout here. This is the actual gospel presentation uh, we're going to share. Mm -hmm. And you'll watch me actually draw that on a whiteboard, and you'll get a chance to, to see me doing that. And I want to encourage you, you've got a blank space here. Go ahead and follow along mm -hmm. as I'm sharing that presentation. And... Uh, just kind of write in things as you see me write them in. That'll give you a feel for how to share the gospel using this gospel presentation. Then we'll come back and I'm going to actually share this with Christian. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going to draw it out on a piece of paper right. and do it in a more relational way than just me drawing it out mm -hmm. uh, for you to watch. But you're going to be able to watch me share the gospel with Christian. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to turn around, and Christian's going to share the gospel with me. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to just really be tough on him. No, not really. Uh, but we want you just to get a picture and a feel uh, what it might look like to share the gospel with someone mm -hmm. and how to do that in a relevant, practical way. So uh, watch this video, and we'll be back with you in just a few minutes. So I'm going to share with you how to utilize a verse like Romans 6.23 to share the gospel in a pretty simple and easy way. So I've written out the scripture, for the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord, Romans 6.23. So I want to illustrate this verse in this way. So I'm going to draw a little cliff here. And then a little cliff here. And I'm going to draw a little stick figure right here. And I'm going to write out the word God here. And one of the things that we, we see and we know from Scripture is that sin separates us from God. God is holy, uh, but he's loving. Uh, God is also just. And then we know from Scripture that we are all sinners. In fact, the consequence of our sin from this verse here, uh, I want to record a few key words. Wages. Sin. And death. One of the things that we see here that uh, we learn from this verse is wages that we earn is sin, 
and that ultimately leads to death. I'm going to write a few other words over here. I'm going to circle this word, free gift. I'm going to circle the word God, and then eternal life. Now, one of the things I want you to see here, over here on the left, <laughs> this is the bad news. Over here on the right, this is the good news. This sin separates us from having a relationship with God. But there's, there's one key word that we, we don't want to forget, and that's this word, but here. For the wages of sin is death, but and so what we see here is Christ Jesus is key so I'm going to draw a cross right here and one of the things to have this relationship with God it's not something we earn. It's a free gift. Uh, the thing we get from uh, our, our life, our wages, our sin, that leads to death. This gift that God wants us to have uh, leads us to him, and it leads to eternal life. One of the things we learn from Scripture is that all of us need to repent. To repent means to turn from our sin and to turn to God. And we need to believe. And what we're believing is that Jesus Christ, he died on a cross to pay the penalty for your sins and for mine. And so we're believing in him. And then the great news is that he rose again on the third day. So we're believing in him and trusting in God for our salvation. So we need to repent and believe, and that's just like receiving a, a free gift that we're, we're trusting in what God has already provided for us. And we do that through faith. And so this is a simple little way to share one verse, Romans 6.23, in how to point people to have a relationship with God to have the free gift of eternal life and spend eternity in heaven. So, uh, hope you enjoyed watching the, the video there with us and you're, you're getting a little feel for how we're going to use this one verse. Mm -hmm. So, Christian, mm -hmm. man, I'm so glad hey, that... It's nice uh, to meet you. I know. Hey. We shook hands. Yeah, we did. That's that's really going to be cool when we kind of get oh, through all this to 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 kind of shake hands or do we? No, we don't. Okay. Have us. All right. Oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> no. So uh, I really am thankful that you took the opportunity to uh, join me for some some coffee. Yeah. Uh, by the way, what's mm -hmm. uh, what's your favorite uh, coffee place? My favorite coffee place is Joe Pine coffee company and this is not sponsored by joe pine in any way but it is such a great place so uh, what's your favorite coffee drink there oh gosh probably the cold brew you can always rely on the cold brew when they have it in season okay so in summer season they have it so. uh, it makes sense to have cold coffee during yeah. summer or coffee during mm -hmm. the winter yeah. uh, so for me i'm just kind of a regular straight black hot coffee uh, kind of person. Sounds about right. But one of the things that uh, I wanted to share with you mm -hmm. is one of my favorite verses of scripture. Mm -hmm. One of those verses that really had an impact on my life personally. Mm -hmm. In fact, I've, I've read this many times, heard it many times, and mm -hmm. even as a 10 year old boy, this is one of those verses that, that God used to really speak to my heart and draw him to himself. And so it's a just one short verse. It's uh, Romans six twenty three. Okay. For the wages of sin is death, 
But the free gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus, our Lord, Romans 6.23. Now, so one of the things that, that I want you to see as we kind of walk through uh, this verse, I'm going to attempt to uh, draw a few pictures here. Okay. So let's, let's just say this little person represents you. Mm -hmm. And then over here, I'm gonna, just going to write the word uh, God. One of the things that Scripture tells us about is how our sin separates us from God. Okay. And, in fact, one of the things as we look at uh, this passage here, um, I'm going to circle just a few words. There's wages, sin, and death. Uh, those are those are some pretty powerful words. Uh, wages. Uh, do you know what a wage is? Uh, something you earn. Something that's given to you. Oh, that's right. So, like, if you do something, if you do some uh, some work, then ideally, that's right. Somebody gives you uh, some money for that. Thank you, sir. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> okay. I tell you what, just so you're help, because you're helping me, uh, I'll pay you the big bucks to uh, help me with this video yeah. series. One dollar. No, no. So, oh wait, was that a one or a hundred? <laughs> a one. Okay. <laughs> so, anytime you do some work, uh, mm -hmm. ideally you you get paid for it. That's a wage. Mm -hmm. One of the things this scripture says the uh, the wage uh, of our sin is actually death. So let's talk about the second word, sin. Uh, have you ever thought about what uh, what sin is, or familiar with that word? What What would you think? Um, is it like just something we do that's bad? Like, is that? Yeah, is that I is? I think that's that's a really simple way to mm -hmm. uh, convey that that sin is doing bad things, in especially in relative to uh, what. God says is sin. Uh, when the Bible talks about sin, it's actually missing uh, the mark. Now, I know you've done some archery before mm -hmm. shooting. Yeah. Um, and so you have a target right. that you're trying to shoot, and you've got that little bitty bullseye in the middle. Mm -hmm. Have you ever hit that bullseye? No. Never? I mean, I got close. Okay. You just need to practice more. I do need to practice more. <laughs> but reality is... It's rare that we hit that center target. Mm -hmm. We may get close and get around. Well, when we sin, we, we, we miss the mark of God's standard of holiness. There's a lot of things in the Bible that where God says, you should do this. Mm -hmm. You should tell the truth. You should love others. Uh, Honor you your mom and dad. Oh. Dead. That's right. Honor your mother and father. In fact, yeah. Mother's Day is coming up. That's right. Uh, this Sunday, you got to make sure uh, that you're you're ready for that. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, then there's things the Bible says to not do. Mm -hmm. uh, don't murder. Don't steal. Don't lie. And reality is, we can sin in things we say, in things we do or don't do, and in things we think. Mm -hmm. And so, when you open that up, we we really do sin quite a bit. Yeah. And really all it takes is one sin to separate us from a God who is uh, holy and a God who is just. Mm -hmm. And so just kind of following the scripture here, for the wages of sin, uh, the end result is what? Death. Death. Mm -hmm. uh, have you ever been to, to a funeral? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's... Uh, a lot of times can be a really sad occasion. Uh, mm -hmm. Now, there are some funerals that I've been to where uh, the person is a believer, and, and they talk about this person had a relationship with Jesus, and they're going to uh, spend eternity in heaven. But reality is all of us, we're going to die. Mm -hmm. And not just a physical death, but also a spiritual death. Mm -hmm. And apart from having a relationship with God, that spiritual death, 
means that we'll spend eternity in hell. That's the bad news. Okay. Yeah. Now, I don't like just to stop with uh, bad news because mm -hmm. most of us don't like bad news. We see enough bad news on the news, mm -hmm. and we've heard a lot of it here in the last several months. So I want to share with you some, some good news. Mm -hmm. Now, one of the cool things when you look at uh, this passage, mm -hmm. it says, for the wages of sin is death, but... And so I'm going to write the word but up here. Mm -hmm. But the free gift, so I'm going to write free gift down here. Okay. The free gift of God. And so I'm going to write that down here. And then also eternal life. And so the free gift of God is eternal life. Mm -hmm. So uh, you're, you're in college, right? Right. Mm -hmm. So now uh, I know you're not in any kind of serious relationship or anything like that, mm -hmm. but uh, maybe the next few years mm -hmm. uh, there's that chance. Mm -hmm. Let's say you get into a real serious relationship mm -hmm. and you saved up a bunch of money. And you go spend uh, a few thousand dollars on an engagement ring. Mm -hmm. And you go through this elaborate proposal and you, you give this engagement ring, this gift to your fiance. And she says, yes. And just, but then, uh, that would be a cool moment. <laughs> it would be a cool moment for us too yeah. as, uh, as, as parents. But once you give that to her, she immediately reaches in her purse and starts pulling out money and what you're shaking your head. Why? What's wrong with that? It was a gift. It was like, it was my own doing. It wasn't, she didn't have to pay me back for it because I gave the gift. Yeah. You know, we went to a, uh, a drive-by birthday party. Yes. Uh, yes. This, this past week. <laughs> you know, I'm telling you, these drive-by birthday parties, I, I really didn't know what to think about it, mm -hmm. but... You like it now? I, the, the cool thing was, we, we drove by, we dropped off a gift, uh, we actually got a piece of cake, and we were there five minutes, and we're gone. Now, think about hosting a birthday party, and people just drive by and drop off gifts, and you give them a piece of cake, and you don't even have to clean your house up. I mean, hey. pretty cool. Now, yeah. so when when now we did this, and we dropped off a gift, and several other people dropped off a gift. Mm -hmm. They didn't try to pay us back. Um, it, it was it was a gift we gave mm -hmm. to uh, to our niece, okay. and mm -hmm. just really really cool uh, experience. And she was. All smiley and excited, mm -hmm. uh, and and it would have really been offensive if um, uh, her parents had tried to pay us back. So the true meaning of a gift is it's free. Mm -hmm. You don't have to do anything for it. Yeah. And uh, scripture goes on to say the free gift of God is eternal life. Now I want you to uh, I want you to see the differences here. We've got. Wage is something you work and do to get mm -hmm. a free gift. Not to do anything. You don't have to do anything because this is the cool thing I'm going to show you here. Uh, the cool thing about this gift here, you it gives you eternal life, but that happens through... Now, the one thing we haven't covered yet, I'm going to draw a cross here. And... The scripture goes on to say, the free gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Mm -hmm. And so one of the things is, as we look at this passage mm -hmm. is the bad news is the wages of sin is death. Mm -hmm. The good news is eternal life uh, is a free gift from God. Mm -hmm. And the way we receive that free gift is because of Jesus Christ, what uh, 
he did for us. Have you ever heard a story about Jesus in the Bible? What are any stories you're familiar with? Um, he was a baby. Uh, Mary was his mother. The tri- we celebrate that at Christmas? That's yeah. good. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I have heard like he's died on the cross. Um, but I didn't really ever know what it really meant. So. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it's it's a cool story, and uh, there's a lot of factual evidence that demonstrate that Jesus truly did die on the cross, and he was put in a tomb, uh, and on the third day, he rose again. Hmm. And so, in Jesus doing that and dying on the cross, he did that, in fact, Another verse in the Bible says, mm-hmm. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. There's that word again, mm-hmm. eternal life. Yeah. So Jesus loved you, loved me enough to pay the penalty for our sins. Mm-hmm. You know, there's when whenever we see something in the news that seems like an incredibly grave injustice. Mm. And you can pretty much turn on the news just about any night and see something that's just like, oh my goodness, I can't believe somebody would do something like that. Mm -hmm. Normally, our reaction is we want justice. We want there to be some sort of punishment. Mm -hmm. Well, God is holy and he is just. Mm. And anytime we sin... It must be punished. Mm -hmm. And I don't know about you, but uh, I've I've messed up quite a bit. Mm -hmm. Still do. Still wrestle with that. But Jesus died to pay the penalty for all of my sins, past, present, and future, and for years, too. Mm -hmm. Now, one of the things Scripture talks about is a word called repent. Repent means that we turn from our sins and we turn to God. Mm. And one of the things I hope you see here is that you see that this is bad news here. It ends up in death. Mm -hmm. And we want to turn from that. And hopefully you've seen that there's good news in how to have a relationship with God through Jesus. So turn from your sin and turn to God. And the way we have a relationship with God is we uh, believe what Jesus did in dying on the cross to pay the penalty for our sins. And that he also rose again on the third day according to the scriptures. So we believe and placed our trust in what he did for us. And really, it's just a matter of praying and uh, taking that step of faith where, God, I believe I'm a sinner. Uh, I, I want to turn from this bad news. I want to turn to this good news mm-hmm. of uh, the eternal life and this free gift. I want to turn to you. And, and I recognize that Jesus did die on the cross, and he rose again on the third day. I believe that, Mm. and I want to place my complete trust and faith in you. God, will you save me? And it's really as simple as that and and receiving that gift. Mm. Um, There are a lot of people that think that you can do good things to get to heaven. What what are some good things uh, people... Or maybe even you might think that you have to do to get to heaven. Um, Volunteering at places. Yeah, that's a good thing. Mm -hmm. Um, Doing, having a successful business. Yeah. Um, Donating to charities. Yep. Going to church. Some people think, hey, I'm going to go to church. That's going to get me to heaven. Or Mm -hmm. some people even think, hey, I'm part of a Christian family. That's going to get me there. Uh, And some people even go through the ritual of getting baptized not having a clue what that means, Mm -hmm. thinking, okay, I've done this, check mark, I'm going to go to heaven. Uh, We can't do anything good enough to get us there because reality is we're still sinners. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. But Jesus, who is God, the mm-hmm. Son of God, who was perfect, sinless, never sinned, never had a simple thought, uh, he was a good enough sacrifice for us to pay the ultimate penalty for us. So so what, what happens after we believe and trust? I mean, if we are sinners, mm-hmm. what happens to our sin? Do we keep on like, or like, what's that? Okay, so that's a great question. Mm-hmm. So... One of the things, when you trust in Jesus as your Lord and Savior, God uh, forgives your sin. Mm. Now, reality is you're probably going to continue to sin some. Mm -hmm. And one of these days when you do die, Mm -hmm. all of us uh, eventually will, will die God's going to look back and see that you trusted in his son, Jesus, Mm. to save you from your sin. And so he's actually going to see that you have a relationship with Jesus, that you believe what he said, that you believe his word, Mm -hmm. and you put your faith and trust in that. And so, like for instance, uh, I made a decision to trust in Christ when I was 10 years old. Mm. And I, I still mess up. Uh, and still sin. Mm -hmm. I I don't believe that sin, every time I sin, I don't have to trust in Jesus again. Mm -hmm. I already did that, that he paid for that penalty for me once for all. Mm -hmm. Uh, But when I do sin, uh, I take the opportunity and I confess to God, God, I agree that I had the sinful thought, there was something God I was supposed to do I didn't do, Mm-hmm. And I believe in that moment he forgives me. And that enables me to, to really have a, a real uh, kind of fresh, up-to-date relationship mm-hmm. with God. Okay. So that's a good question. Uh, any other questions that uh, come to mind as you're uh, thinking about this, wrestling with this? No. So, uh, so when you look at this picture here, mm-hmm. uh, so... I I drew you over here, Mm -hmm. and here's God. Mm -hmm. Uh, Where would you say maybe you are? Are are you over here, um, and you need to have a relationship with God? Uh, Are you you getting close to maybe thinking about that, or you want to wait a little bit more? What what do you think? I think I'm I'm close. Like, I know who Jesus was and what he did for me. Um, But... I don't know. I think it'd be cool to really have that faith and to trust in God. That would be really be cool. Is there any reason why uh, you wouldn't want to uh, do that right now? I mean, I don't see why not. <laughs> okay, great. Well, let's uh, uh, let's pause, and I want you to just pray and express that to God. Okay. Uh, Lord, I know that I'm a sinner, and I know that I messed up, and I need you so much because of my sin. And I believe that your son, Jesus, died on the cross for my sins and that he rose again. And I'm in desperate need of your love because the way I'm heading is is death. And uh, I really don't want that, Lord. So come into my life and uh, be the boss. Um, Thank you, God. In your name I pray, amen. Amen. Hey, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, And you didn't have to do anything for that. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, so, okay, so we, we w- just wanted to illustrate for you what uh, that might uh, look like. Mm-hmm. So, uh, now, you actually, uh, this is one of those verses that uh, I shared with you a long time ago. Mm-hmm. And you made a, a decision as, as a young boy. Mm-hmm. In fact, I still have a picture Maybe we'll get it and be able to, to, to show it either for this session or a couple of sessions okay. where you actually drew out uh, a similar huh. kind of presentation like this, yeah. sharing with a friend. Mm. And so, uh, but we wanted to give you that feel. And so now, uh, uh, get you another sheet of paper because what I want to encourage you to do is follow along with us and you're going to be uh, more able and apt to Mm -hmm. share the gospel, the more you practice it, 
And just kind of like we're practicing here, one of the things we had encouraged you to do, practice that with a, a friend, a family member, a spouse, mm -hmm. a, a child, and, and not just once, multiple times. Mm -hmm. even, even if you're a, a kid out there watching us or a student, Hey, we want to encourage you practice yes. sharing this mm -hmm. uh, because you're going to get more comfortable with sharing this the more you practice it. All right. Hey, how's it going? Hey, good to see you, man. Good you doing okay? You. I'm doing good. How are you? I'm, I'm all right. It's uh, I'm I'm ready to uh, kind of really get back out and uh, see people and connect yes. with them, but. Uh, I, there's there's some other things I've been able to, to to focus on and that kind of stuff. So cool. Well, th thanks for joining me today, despite hey. the circumstances. Yep. Um, so today I just wanted to take some time to share with you a verse that means a lot to me. Okay. Um, have you ever like read the Bible or anything? Have you? Uh, I, I've, I've I do actually have a Bible. Okay. And um, I've read it some. Mm -hmm. Can't say that I'm I'm real avid. Mm -hmm. in in reading it you know if uh, maybe sometimes if if I get really down mm -hmm. uh, or lonely or something like that I may open it up and try to find something that's uh, encouraging but man it's so big and there's so there's much stuff in there that it's a lot of it I don't understand but mm -hmm. uh, anyway so well the verse I'm going to share with you is really nice and simple. Oh, good. I, and mean, I need that. <laughs> at the beginning, there is some bad news. But okay. at the end, there's good news. It's going to end with good. Okay, okay. So that's how we're going to end it. So the verse is Romans 6.23. Okay, And Romans 6.23 says, For the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Okay. Okay. So we're just gonna I'm just gonna kinda draw a little illustration and kinda break it down for you. Okay. So first I'm gonna draw this bridge right here. Okay. So over here on this side is you and me. Okay. Okay. So we're just chilling over here. And over here on this side is God. Okay. Okay. So this is me and you, and the first part of that verse says, for the wages of sin is death. Okay, so do you know what a wage is? Well, my, my job, uh, right. when, when I punch the clock mm -hmm. and uh, do my work, then I, I get a paycheck. I right, get, you get paid. Yeah. Okay, and so um, it says the wages of sin is death. So what we, we receive for our sin is death. It's not good. No, it's not. Uh, do you know what sin is, though? Uh, so, I would say when uh, somebody murders somebody. Yeah, that's pretty. I'd, I'd say that's a sin. Mm -hmm. When uh, somebody uh, lies. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I would say that's a sin. Yeah. Have you ever, have you ever heard of the Ten Commandments before? Uh, yes, I have. Okay, so so you're familiar with like you know you shall not sin, you shall not lie, you shall not murder, you shall not covet, okay, adultery. Well, um, yeah, if if I heard them, okay. when you sh said that, and especially when you said you shall not, uh, I was like, <sighs> you kind of heard that. Yeah. Okay. So those are the Ten Commandments, and those were a law that God gave His people not to do because it was sinning against Him. Okay, and ultimately, whenever we sin, we're disobeying God. Okay, and sin is what separates us from God. Mm. So we're over here. Uh, you would say you lied before, right? Yes. Yes. Okay, I have too. Okay. okay good. Yeah, I have I'm too. in good company. Yeah. Have you ever stolen anything before? Uh, yes, I have. Okay. Yeah, I have too. See, we're all sinners in this life. Okay, I've sinned. You've sinned. We have all sinned. There's another verse that says we have all sinned. Mm -hmm. Okay. And right now it's not looking good, right? Because our sin equals death. Nope, not okay? good. Now this death isn't actually talking about a physical death, but it's talking about a spiritual death. Okay, So we're all going to die eventually. But what this is talking about, once we die, are we going to spend our life in heaven or hell? Oh. Okay, Have you heard about hell? 
Uh, I have. Um, I, I don't think it's... Uh, it's not a very good place. No, I haven't right? heard good, pleasant things about that. Right. Well, I'm going to share with you about heaven, okay? And okay, so good. That, okay. That's the good news, right? right? And so, God, what he did, he gave us a free gift, okay? So, and this gift was an awesome gift, okay? And God gave it to us, mm -hmm. and his gift is eternal life. Now, I'm going to... Eternal is in like forever? Forever. Okay. Okay. And so here's what God did. God sent his son Jesus. Have you ever heard of Jesus? Mm -hmm. you know Jesus? Okay. Little baby. Right. Crying in a manger. Mm-hmm. And so what God did, he sent his son Jesus, and Jesus was perfect. He lived a perfect life. And near the end of his life, he died on the cross. Okay. And he got put in the tomb, and he was in the tomb for three days, okay? But God did a miracle. He rose him from the dead, okay? That's pretty cool. So he defeated death. I mean, he did. And that's what allows us to cross this bridge is Jesus, okay? All right, I see that little connection there. Okay. All right. And so what Jesus did, he died on the cross for our sins, Okay, because our sin is what makes us, you know, dirty inside. Okay, and what God does through his son Jesus, if we believe and put our trust in him, he takes that dirt away and all he sees is white, cleanness. Okay, so you might be asking, you know, how do I, how do I have this? How do I get eternal life, free gift? Mm -hmm. Well, it's actually nothing that we do. Okay. God is the one who saves us, okay? All we have to do is just believe. No, wait. So, mm -hmm. um, like, uh, I, I've, I've heard that, um, uh, I mean, I've heard people talk about keeping the Ten Commandments and, mm -hmm. and going to church and praying and reading your Bible mm -hmm. that, uh, and that's one of the reasons, you know, there's, there's all these lists of do this or don't do this mm -hmm. that, that I've heard people talk about in the yeah. Bible. And that's just kind of one of the reasons that uh, I, I really haven't got uh, connected to mm. uh, a, a church or kind of gone down that path. Is mm -hmm. I, I just, I, I'm, I know some people that say they're mm. uh, a Christian, but... Yeah. And when, when I see uh, where they go and what they do and how they talk, I'm just like, it, it just doesn't connect with me. So, I'm, so I, 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 you know, I, I've always thought that you could do certain things mm. uh, to get there. Mm. And um, I've, I've tried to do some good things. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know if I'm going to get there. I'm, I'm hoping that one of these days... Mm -hmm. uh, when I get to the end, that when God kind of weighs the scales, that mm -hmm. my good outweighs the bad, mm -hmm. and I'm thinking, hopefully I can do enough good to, to kind of get me there, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, I guess I'll just have to wait and see. Hmm. Well, God is a just God, okay? So that means he is going to punish what's wrong, okay? So if God is a loving God, he, it's the same way as a father, okay? Mm -hmm. Whenever a father disciplines his son, he disciplines him because he loves him, and he, he wants his son to learn from that. And the same way with God with our sin, that's the discipline is death because of our sin. But here's the thing. God loved us so much, he sent his son Jesus. So all we have to do is believe and put our faith in that. We don't have to do good works to get to heaven. It's because of Jesus and the sacrifice that he made. That's how we get to heaven. So in other words, it's, it's not me trying to check, 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 right. check. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's really about what Jesus did. Right. You okay. can never read the Bible enough or pray enough to get to God. It's God coming and saving you. Which should also be helpful for you because, you know, you don't... All you have to do is receive it. Okay. It's okay. a gift. And I like gifts. Yeah. And so I want to invite you today, you know, um, would you ever think about making this decision to put your faith in, in God? 
Well, I don't know if I've ever quite heard it put this way. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, I I would like to uh, give it some thought. I I think. Um, I, like I said, I haven't really thought about it this way. Mm-hmm. Um, so I, I really need to uh, to think about this a little bit more. Okay. Yeah, that's cool. Um, I have your number, and okay. um, you know, feel free to text me or call me if you ever have any questions. Oh, I'm sure I probably will. Okay, great. Yeah, just just shoot them my way, um, and I just want to let you know I'm praying for you. Thanks for coming today, and um, and just hey, thanks for. Uh, uh, being a good enough friend to um, really tell me the truth. I mean, this really has given me some some good things to, to think about. And uh, I, I really am going to think about this a lot. Awesome. So. Okay. So, uh, thank you, Christian. Did a great job. Uh, it was, and, and we've done some of this before. Mm-hmm. Uh, kind of taking turns to uh, share the gospel and practice it. So we just wanted to to kind of give you uh, a couple of models of mm-hmm. what it might look like. Of course, every experience is unique and mm-hmm. different. And so uh, some things, let's, let's just kind of evaluate and kind of look back at, at what we did and maybe from your experiences of sharing the gospel mm-hmm. uh, and and mine, some some things we learned and some practical things uh, we might share. Yeah, I think one thing about sharing with someone, um, you don't want to be too forceful on them because um, as Christians, a lot of times we get the bad rep for, you know, oh, they're being so judgmental and stuff. But you still want to put it in a way that, you know, this is bad news and sin is not good, um, but this is so much better. And so I think that's one thing to keep in mind is, you know, you're a sinner, I'm a sinner too. We're all sinners. So we're all in this together, really. So we're not necessarily in a better or higher class or anything like that. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I would say one of the things to keep in mind is uh, Romans 10, 17. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. And so I, I really do think that if we're faithful to share mm-hmm. the gospel and to share God's word, that God's going to use that to convict people of their sin and convince them of the truth of the gospel. And so we've just got to be faithful to share. Now, it may not happen that first time. Mm-hmm. I've shared the gospel with a variety of different people, and uh, some respond instantly. My mm-hmm. guess is they've heard that multiple times before. Right. And I wasn't the first one sharing with them. Mm-hmm. There were probably several other people, maybe uh, individuals, or maybe they'd grown up going to church and heard some of these basics. Mm-hmm. And it was just the right timing for right. for God to work in their life and draw them to himself. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, an- another thing I saw on mine was on mine, I didn't actually write out the verse and whenever you wrote out the verse, that actually helped because I could see it. I think if I were to go back, I'd probably write out the verse. Okay. Um, now, a lot of times, if you're sharing with a friend, you know, you don't have that verse right on you. Um, but I think it helps. Um, you can still definitely share this verse. It's mm-hmm. really easy to share in conversation. Yeah. Yeah. In fact, one of the things you may want to do uh, that I've done before as well is... Uh, I've actually had a Bible open and asked them to actually read it out loud. Hey, would you read yes. this verse out loud for me? Mm. And it helps if you have that verse underlined and have them read that verse out loud and then just kind of ask them off the cuff, hey, what, what, do, you, what do you think this means? And let them yeah. think and reflect on that uh, a little bit. And so uh, any other things you can think of right now? Mm-mm. I think one of the key things is uh, learning uh, at least one way to share the gospel with people. There are a variety of ways. We're going to share a couple more. We're going to share about how to share your salvation story with people. And then we're going to have kind of an expanded, a little bit longer uh, gospel presentation where we'll Mm -hmm. uh, take some time to share with you uh, uh, 
a, a similar presentation just with more verses. And if you're a member at First Murphy, then hopefully you've memorized these verses mm -hmm. and uh, you've hidden them in your heart. And that's going to help you to be able to share with more confidence. Right. Uh, I know for me, mm -hmm. uh, I, I didn't really learn how to share the gospel till college. But it was even in seminary at, at our church, mm -hmm. church I, um, uh, your mom and I were involved in over in Fort Worth, mm -hmm. that uh, we went through a several week evangelism training mm -hmm. process where we memorized several scriptures and we had a process we went through, went out and mm -hmm. kind of knocked on doors and visited and shared the gospel. And it was, it was helpful, some of that uh, OJT, that on the job training. So, make sure you go online, download mm -hmm. uh, the, the Romans 6, 623 presentation. You can uh, watch this teaching. You can watch that short little video of how to do this. And take some turns practicing that uh, with a friend, with a family member, with, with a spouse. And, and that's going to help you yes. uh, to do it. And, and even practice... Sometimes somebody being uh, very compliant and going along with the flow. Mm -hmm. Practice some times where somebody asks some difficult questions. Mm -hmm. And practice some of those different scenarios, and that'll be very yes. uh, helpful uh, for you. So one last time, Romans 6.23. For the wages of sin is, is death, death, but, but the, the free, free gift, gift of God is eternal life, life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Lord. It's a wonderful gift. It's a great news that we want to share with as many people as we can. And our responsibility is to share and leave the results up to God. Because he's the one that saves them. We're the one that just shares that good news with them. So uh, we're looking forward, hoping to see you uh, for our worship time beginning here shortly at 1030. Uh, until then... Continue to be faithful in your walk with God and in sharing the gospel with others. We'll see you next time.